Well, it was supposed to be their dream home, but a young family says the near half a million dollar house they bought turned into an absolute nightmare. And when Chief Investigator Darcy Spears tried to find out who was supposed to provide oversight, well, she found authorities playing the blame game while homeowners are falling through the cracks. This may look like an unfinished home that's still under construction, but it was finished. In fact, the family moved in and only after living here for a few weeks did they notice problems literally coming out of the woodwork. And so we decided, hey, let's let's root down here. Let's buy our dream home. Tam Gonzalez, her wife Ashley, and their daughters were dancing for joy when they moved in to their new Henderson home in the Inspirata neighborhood. We know that we can just go right outside, play, play on the soccer field. An experienced real estate professional, Tam walked the home many times herself, and because it was brand new, it was permitted and inspected by the city of Henderson as it was built. It was a pristine home. We were so excited. The excitement didn't last long. When did you start noticing it was not perfect? When we started hanging up pictures. <laughs> so the first couple of pictures, I'm like, well, the, the frame is crooked, of course, you know? And then it was, every one was crooked. And then we started noticing certain walls, you know, bowed and sloped out. Tam called the builder Party Homes. So they came over, started looking at them, measuring them. They started opening things up. And the more they opened up, then they opened up other places. And it got to the point where there was drywall that had been opened up in every single room and every bathroom of the home. Exposing problems down to the framing, Pardee started making fixes, shaving down beams, plugging holes with drywall mud. And then over here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shims. And using shims to shore up wood. The family had to pack up and move out for the repairs, but they never returned because Tam claims the fixes led to even bigger problems. Just look at this wood. It's, it's half gone. It's, You're it saying look, it looks like a beaver chewed this up. It looks like a beaver chewed it up. Tam hired an independent structural engineer whose 36-page report details dozens of construction defects, from poor quality lumber that splinters to the touch. You can pick it apart. The wood apart. Yeah. It's like toothpicks. Uh huh. To crooked and insecure walls, to doors that don't seal. And Tam's engineer isn't the only expert who sees problems. She used her cell phone to record the scene when an investigator from the Nevada State Contractors Board responded to her complaint. About party homes, the investigator said, It's oversight. a concern to us, and, and they're going to have to address it. And as for the city of Henderson's building inspection, I can see clearly that it shouldn't have been passed. You're right. Exactly. I, I agree with you. It seems like already there's a lot of finger pointing between the people involved in building and selling this house, mm -hmm. and you're caught in the middle. And that's been the case the whole time, finger pointing. Hello. Welcome in. Tam's neighbors say it's not just her home. Some of the no, structural no, issues in some of these other Hello. photos. A group who came to see what's behind her walls told us their party homes have problems too. At the house next door, a sinkhole opened up underneath the foundation, leaving neighbors to question the stability of the very soil these homes are built on. Party says there's no problem with the soil. After we began investigating, they fixed the sinkhole and will be making more repairs to an interior wall. As for Tam's family? Yeah, I empathize with them. I Carlos Zuluaga is the man in charge of construction at Party Homes. Uh, there is some things that are out of plumb, out of square, um, all things that can be fixed. He admits he's not happy with Tam's house. But there definitely is issues there that are just way below our standards, and we want to make them right. And he says Pardee is offering the family three options. One is uh, repairing the home, one is repurchase, and the third is mediation, which is where I'm hoping that we're leading to right now. Why did it get to the point where they were allowed to move into that house? Really don't can't give you a clear answer on that. Uh, we're working towards a solution right now to not let this happen ever again. We tried to question the city of Henderson about their role in all this, but no one. Hello, this message is for Dan Shaw. From Councilman Dan Shaw. Now let's see if we can get the mayor on the phone. To Mayor Deborah March would talk to us on camera. The city did provide a statement saying the house passed the city's inspections for adherence to building and fire codes at the time it was built, and the city no longer has authority or jurisdiction on the property. Workmanship issues that the homeowner has with the house are the responsibility of the home builder, Party Homes. The contractor's board says there's nothing they can do at this point either. And due to the fact that 
the work was still ongoing, the homeowner, the contractor was attempting to address the issues of the, and the concerns of the homeowner, we did not validate any issues. Paul Rosario is director of investigations. How do you juggle the impact it has on people's lives with the, well, let's just let the contractor do what they want to do? Right, and again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not a good situation for anyone. I, I'm sure, I know the contractor is attempting to remedy the situation. The homeowners has their needs, uh, their family that they, they can you know, take care of. A family who feels they've been left to live in limbo, falling through the cracks of the system. We have more from Party Homes and the City of Henderson's full statement on our website at KTNV.com. And I should note that we continue to hear from other homeowners who say Party needs to repair their houses also. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.